everyone and welcome back to five reasons why you can't complete a planner. Today is the final part of the series and we're looking at is your process really working? So on top of practical planning, motivation, being a perfectionist, impatience, let's look at the final part, the process, your process. So last year during the first lockdown I gave bullet journaling a go. It was a big mistake. I lasted six weeks. So, the journal, well, the notebook that I used to try bullet journaling is a Stylology. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's, um, it's Tomo River paper. It's lovely and thin. It's great for fountain pens. And it's got grids. And I like the uniformity of that. So, I... Yeah, I decided that bullet journaling for me was, I was going to give it a go. I was going to spend loads of time. This is all hand drawn. Um, yeah, so 2020, the year that everything changed. That was about right. So I spent ages drawing lots of little things, making it look pretty, doing pretty pages and wish lists. And then I this was kind of the layout that I wanted to try because I'd seen it somewhere and, and it was, yeah. So And then that was actually the last week of May. So that's when I started the bullet journal, last week of May. And then I did kind of some highlights, memories from May that were good. And then I spent ages working on my June page. And then I did a weekly thing with all the tasks that needed to be done and this is kind of predominantly where I discovered my key actually last year um so I did a, so I did it for a week I had a weekly layout and then I had a daily as well and kind of did all the things and spent hours but to be honest I had nothing else going on because we were in lockdown so I thought why not sit and draw and make things look really pretty and yeah looking back I'm looking at it right now I've not looked at it for eight nine months and and actually well it's not that much about six months um but it's it's aesthetically pleasing to me it's lovely and but now I don't have the time to sit and spend an hour on a page it's it's not practical it's not realistic to me but I actually did take some of these drawings and I don't know if, if you know DD Practical Products I actually made these into postcards <laughs> and they're available to buy <laughs> um so yeah so I did I did do it I gave it a good shot um and then where were we so for a month so that's the last week of June but then as you can see I kind of got bored of the whole drawing pretty things and it just became lists and then I was going to do some tracking but and started it but never actually did it and then that page just got crossed out and I got bored of habit tr um, of mood tracking after 13 days then I spent the time making a really really pretty July cover and I did the first week of July but again my dailies have got nothing <laughs> on them and then that's it and then now I just utilize this for notes oh it looks like I might have tried it again well there we go okay so I have some random pages for a course I did and then it looks like in September I tried it again very similar stuff some more color Obviously, I discovered I wanted, some, I, I needed some more colour, especially if I wasn't doing any drawings. And then I obviously didn't even complete the weekly page. So this, to me, shows me that, yeah. And then I've kind of given up even on the dailies. Again, the weekend, at October. And then I've entirely given up. And then this is just now. I, I, I like the notebook. I like the paper. So I now utilise it for practising with pens and... Yeah, so I knew that bullet journaling, it's very lovely, it's very nice, but it is definitely not for me. Don't get me wrong, some people absolutely thrive from bullet journaling, and bullet journaling could be something that's perfect for you. Um, 
uh, like lots of people will just have an entire year of beautiful beautiful pictures and things like that but I do not have the time so you need to establish your needs from a planner do you prefer horizontal or vertical layouts what pens are you going to use do you need a specific paper type? Do you like really, really thick paper? Do you like really thin paper? Are you gonna use a fountain pen? Are you just gonna use a biro? It's a factor. Do you need multiple sections? Uh, do you just want a monthly planner to look at? Do you want a monthly and a weekly? Do you want just a weekly? <laughs> There's so many options. And finally, what size do you need? Um, planners come in all sizes. You can get slim ones, a6, A5, A4, um, yeah, there's, there's so many options. So I did some serious research into planners and what my needs were, what, what did I need this planner to do for me to help me continue planning regularly. And I finally came out with the Hobonichi Cousin. So yes, the Hobonichi Techo. 2021 cousin I added the little practical downy bit myself um so I worked out for me size a5 so this as you can see is ever so slightly smaller this is a size called b6 which isn't that common um just for everyday things um so it's a little bit narrower it's a little bit smaller and I quite liked it but I think I, I wanted A5. I wanted an A5 journal. I, I made that my mind up about that really quickly. Um, and I also knew that I wanted my vertical layout. Just my brain works better that way than it does. And obviously that's how I tried it with my bullet journal. Is I did it vertically. And it, technically I had more room vertically to write and I maybe wrote bigger than I do now but there's just something about that that I don't love whereas I really, really love the vertical layout. And I don't know how well you can see this but it has, um, it actually goes from 5am in the morning in half hour time blocks. So um, it, it goes, it's numbered hourly, but you've got actually technically space for 5 to 5.30, 5.30 6. And that goes all the way through to, oh, I don't know if I can get it in there. <laughs> it goes all the way through to 4 a.m. So you actually have, is that 20, that's a full 24 hours? Yeah, so I wonder if that's predominantly because people probably should be sleeping. So it gives them that extra space for notes there and potentially at the top. Um, I found it very useful in previous weeks because I, I was doing things till one, two o'clock in the morning. And it also means that I can actually look back and see what I was doing for the whole day. I've had planners before, it only goes nine till five and then, or nine till eight. But lots of people do a lot of things after 8 p.m. So, so yeah, vertical layout with time, with time slots is what I needed. Um, I also needed, because this is my work, this is the weeking, the working week, the weeking work, this is the working week for me. So predominantly I put in my work stuff in here. Sometimes I put some personal stuff in, um, like the food shop is a personal thing, but it took time out of my day. But again, Sunday is more of a personal day for me. Um, but yeah, predominantly this is my working week. Now, they also have dailies so this is kind of a daily cover page and then you get a whole page for the day um, and we have a bit of space up here that's got one two three four five blocks so you could use utilize that for tasks um, and then you also have a time blocked here which goes from 4 a.m till 4 p.m so uh, no sorry it goes from 4 a.m to 4 a.m so that's a full 24 hours, but just a miniature version for the day, which I really like. Um, and there's like a really, it's hard to tell, but this line here is ever so slightly darker so that it breaks up your blocks for the day. And 
I do utilize this and I break them up and then I, this is all my I do a word of the day learn like a new word every day and then I have stickers and colors and I, I utilize kind of this is a breakdown of what I have done so I can quickly look at it for the day I actually put just the day all pretty and fancy to practice my my handwriting I put my word of the day um, I then utilize this space for kind of how I'm feeling or something special that might have happened in that day just it's kind of a highlight and then I use this big chunk at the bottom here to literally just write word for word what happened how I was feeling and things like that and I fill it up every day I really do so I know that I I know I'm glad that I established early that that's what I needed now this particular planner also has a entire yearly at a view but it also has um a monthly let me find one that's not got stuff all over it so a monthly view which are quite like it's a good amount it's a good size actually you've got one two three four five six seven by one two three four five six seven eight nine seven by nine plus you could probably go into the the numbered bit as well um and I wouldn't say that this is a monthly view is not really something I've ever utilized really for any like for work this for me I wouldn't use this for work I personally use this as like the highlights of the day so a good thing that happened or a bad thing that happened if I've got a particular sticker that just sums up the day I'll just stick the sticker there maybe a few words or I might write a little bit in there I've got quite a little handwriting so I can squeeze it in there so yeah this was kind of everything I needed plus the paper is called Tomo River paper it's Japanese paper and it's really thin and I like that crinkly noise I do really like that crinkly noise but it also means I can pretty much use any pen I want including my fountain pens and I do like my fountain pens and the only downside to Timo, Tomo River paper that is, I think is a bit of like Marmite it's either a love or hate is you can see kind of you can kind of see what was going on the day the week before but that doesn't bother me I actually quite like it whereas some people will absolutely hate it so I think this is um it's either 52 or 68 gsm so you might if you if you hate that if you absolutely do not like that bleed through then you're probably, you're probably going to want something that's more like 100 GSM, 120 GSM. I think they go all the way up to about 160, 180, um, which is much thicker paper. But consider that if you try to get this many pages in 160 GSM, the book is going to be absolutely massive. So that's something that you have to consider is, are you going to be carrying it around all day in your bag? Um, or is it going to be a dedicated, for me it's a dedicated, at the minute certainly it's a dedicated desk calendar because I can't go anywhere. But I really, really love this calendar, planner, diary, whatever you want to call it. And of course I did have to make, I made my own cover for it from the DD Practical, I've got some engraving in there. It was kind of a test to see, and, and I really, really love the colour, and I love how soft it and buttery it is, and uh, kind of, I think a cover is potentially also as important as the actual planner. I don't think I'd be getting on with it as much if I just had that, like I put a clear case over it just to protect it a bit, but I think for me, I love leather, I love using leather every single day, and for me, the cover is almost just as important as the planner and there you have it we are at the end of the series I have tried everything I've talked about and it has improved my mindset towards planning I don't I get excited to complete my planner every single day and I'm pretty happy I've done a month a month in and I don't have any blank pages. I've completed something every day. Um, don't get me wrong, there's been some burnouts in there. There's been some, I'm definitely working way too many hours and I need to sleep more. But I, I, I'm tracking that, I'm working on it and I'm gonna 
discover myself and improve myself with this planner. So I hope this has helped you. Um, if you've got any questions, any comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. I look forward to see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you have any questions, please do leave them below and we'll get back to you. If you found it useful and would like to further support us, please do hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.